Hi guys, today I want to talk about three ways in which you can improve sound quality in your vocals. I think it's great that more and more people are getting into creating content like singing, podcasts and things of that nature. And obviously having great sound is critical to have your videos be the best that they can be. So uh, disclaimer though, I'm by no means a sound engineer or a professional uh, music producer, but I'm going to be talking you through uh, the common mistakes that I made and the uh, things that have worked really well for me so you don't have to make the same mistakes that I made. All right then, so without further ado, let's go. Okay, so first thing you need to improve your audio quality is your choice of mic. And I know this is obvious, but it's so, so important. And generally, your sound quality will improve with a more expensive mic, but these mics can go up to thousands of pounds. But it gets to a point where the more money you put into the mic, the less equivalent sound audio quality you'll get out of it, if that makes any sense. All right, so things at the bottom of the pile are things that are actually not designed for recording uh, audio sound. So things like laptop mics or webcams, you're just not going to get great sound out of these things and you need to invest in a mic. Next are things like mobile phone mics and these have improved in sound quality massively over the years so they're a very viable choice for people just starting out so it's worth considering. And then you have your cheaper condenser mics and these go for about 25 to 50 pounds uh, on Amazon and this would probably be my recommendation for someone who's just starting out. And then you have your higher quality mics and these can be XLR mics or uh, USB condensers. Um, these usually go from about £100 to £500 and it's usually the sweet spot or the best upgrade uh, for most people who are uh, used to making high quality audio content. Anyway, this video is aimed at uh, people with a tight budget. So I have a few recommendations for you uh, for mics in that cheaper condenser mic category. Now, generally, I prefer XLR condenser mics to USB condenser mics. And this is because of the level of control that you have with the XLR mics. And the caveat to this, though, is that you will usually need an extra bit of kit to get the most out of your mic. But if you are really not techy at all, uh, USB mics is probably the way for you to go because you just plug and play really. Linked in the description will be uh, songs that I've done using the XLR mic and the USB mic. So have a click at those in the description and try to listen for the difference in sound quality and decide which ones you like better. So just type into Amazon cheap condenser mics and there will be a wide range of sort of the cheaper category of condenser mics that you'll find there and most of them will be viable. Just make sure you look at the reviews and see what people are saying about them. I'm currently using the Newey NW700 and it served me well over the years and I'll probably miss it when I upgrade to something better. Number two thing that you will need to improve your audio sound quality is an external audio interface. And this bit is only relevant for people using XLR mics, as like I said, the USB mic is plug and play, so you don't need to worry about that. Please, please, please do not plug your mic directly into the computer using the mini audio jack cable. Um, it will work, but the audio quality will just be terrible. You will need an external audio interface and this will help to give your mic that extra bit of power that it needs to uh, get the best quality sound out of the mic. So when you get your audio interface, just make sure that it has a phantom power on the description or there's a little 48 volt uh, on it and make sure that that is flicked on. So similarly with these external audio interfaces, you'll have your dirt cheap ones, the moderately priced ones and the really, really expensive ones. Um, I started out with uh, this USB external audio interface and yeah, it was not great. <laughs> um, but it was, you know, the cheapest thing I could, I could find because I really wanted to test the sound quality. Um, but 
you want to upgrade to something uh, more moderate in price and the quality boost that you will get in terms of your sound is absolutely massive now the thing with this though is the sound quality difference between the moderately priced ones and the really expensive ones is actually not that much difference and this is good so uh, aim to get a moderately priced ones um, the only thing you'll need to compromise on is probably the features and the number of channels that you have all the number of instruments or mics that you can plug into one audio interface i am using the behringer umc 202 hd and it served me really well over the years um, but there are cheaper options out there that would give you pretty much the same sound quality but with slightly less features so for those on a budget i would recommend the behringer euphoria um2 let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a comparison between both of those interfaces and I'll be sure to do that in another video. Finally, the number three thing that you need to improve your sound quality is your choice of door. Not door as in door, but DAW door. This means digital audio workstation and this is basically the software in your computer that you use to process the sound that you record and these can be free simple easy to use softwares like audacity um, and it can also range to really expensive uh, softwares like um, fl studio i started out using audacity and it worked really well for me um, especially starting out and it comes with its own cool features like uh, removing background noise and things of that nature so if you're doing any simple recording that's probably the way to go so you want a door that can give you more control over your audio um, the ability to edit it the ability to record new audio or to even create synthetic sounds and many people think that you need to shed you know, loads of money on really expensive software like FL Studio before you can have access to all those things but actually there are a lot of other free softwares on the market that you can use and I dare say might be just as good as some of these uh, really expensive softwares. My personal favorite door to use is a software called Cakewalk by BandLab and I've been using Cakewalk for all my stuff and I promise you if you put in the time to learn how to use it you will never go back. Um, it gives you the ability to control your equalization, expand with additional plugins and endless free features which other people would usually need to pay for. Cakewalk will give you that final bit of edge that you need uh, to upgrade your sound quality and the real kicker is Cakewalk is completely free at the time of making this video so don't waste your time and money go get it. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to uh, make some tutorials or videos on how to use Cakewalk and I'll be sure to do that. Well, there you have it guys. Those are my top three things that you need to improve your audio sound quality on a tight budget. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and let me know in the comments. Subscribe and share it with your friends or anyone else you think might find it helpful. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.